Hello and welcome back to Aviation Avi. Go where you feel the most alive. Air transport is said to be the safest mode of transport because there are stringent rules applicable to aircraft operations. Given this, elimination of accidents and incidents is unachievable. Failures will occur in spite of the most accomplished prevention efforts because no human activity or human made system can guarantee to be absolutely free from hazard or operational errors hence controlled risks and errors are acceptable in an inherently safe system so there is a robust safety management system in place in order to ensure safe aircraft operations so with this video let us try to understand the basics of icao nx19 that is safety management so let's get started This video will give you a basic idea of what SMS is and we will go through what is safety what is state safety program or the SSP and how it defines the acceptable level of safety or ALOS what are the management dilemmas while dealing with safety we will also go through the Scott A Snooks theory and the ICAO SMS framework so the first question here is what is safety Safety is the state in which risks associated with aviation activities related to or in direct support of operation of aircraft are reduced and controlled to an acceptable level. Now this acceptable level sounds like a vague term. But in aviation this too is defined. States establish a state safety program or the SSP in order to achieve an acceptable level of safety. in civil aviation this is to evaluate safety performance of a state now this acceptable level of safety is defined in state safety program and is expressed in practical terms by two measures that is the safety performance indicators and the safety performance targets as the word defines this spi and spt that is safety performance indicator or safety performance targets are nothing but self explanatory A safety performance indicator for an airport can be the number of near runway incursions per 10,000 approaches or the number of bird strike reported per 10,000 movements so the term itself is self explanatory so a state safety program is an integrated set of regulations and activities aimed at improving safety states are responsible for establishing a state safety program encompassing the following the safety regulation accident or incident investigation safety assurance and safety promotion so this together form the state safety program which again defines the acceptable level of safety for a state now let us look at safety from a management perspective the management always faces a dilemma between protection and production while allocation of resources if the management allocates more resources towards production there can be a catastrophic incident or accident but again if the management allocates more resources towards protection then there can be bankruptcy so the management has to ensure there is proper and efficient allocation of resources so that a balance is maintained between protection and production to ensure safe and profitable operations at an airport and here comes the role of safety management system now let us look at scott a snooks theory of practical drift this is a theory of practical drift that is used to understand how performance of system drifts away from original design tasks procedures and equipments are often initially designed and planned in a theoretical environment under ideal conditions where it is assumed that everything can be predicted and controlled and where every function will go as expected so we have a system design and then it is operationally deployed once operationally deployed the system should ideally perform as designed so this is the baseline performance that means the system should perform as designed but in reality operational performance differs 
from the assumed baseline performance as a consequence of real life operations in a complex ever changing and usually demanding environment since drift is a consequence of daily practice it is referred to as a practical drift the term drift is used in context as gradual departure from an intended course of action due to external influences this operational drift can again lead to a catastrophic incident or an accident even though there are defenses in place that may be training regulation or technology but due to the operational drift there are chances of a catastrophic incident or accident so here again we understand the importance of safety management system which keeps in check that such deviation or normalization of deviation does not occur so now let us look at the ikao sms framework the ikao sms framework has four pillars upon which the entire structure of sms rests and these four pillars further have 12 components the first pillar is safety policy and objective the second pillar is safety risk management the third pillar is safety assurance and the fourth pillar is safety promotion let us look into each of them in detail so these are the four pillars of safety under the first pillar there are five elements the first element being the management's commitment and responsibility should be defined in an sms the second pillar says that safety accountability should again be defined the appointment of key safety personnel in order to execute sms like the accountable executive and the safety manager should again be documented the coordination of emergency response and planning should be documented like i said everything should be documented in the sms manual of every organization basically the first pillar establishes senior management's commitment to continuously improve safety defines methods processes and organizational structure to meet safety goals the second pillar is the safety risk management which has two elements under it the first element being hazard identification and the second being risk assessment and mitigation basically the second pillar focuses on hazard identification being carried out continuously in an organization and implementing risk mitigation measures and again assessing the same in order to ensure safe operations the third pillar is safety assurance which again has three elements under it first being safety performance monitoring and measurement done through safety performance targets and safety performance indicators the second element being management of change and the third element being continuous improvement of sms so this safety assurance evaluates the continued effectiveness of implemented risk control strategies supports the identification of new hazards the fourth pillar has again two elements under it the first being training and education and the second being safety communication so safety promotion includes training communication and other actions to create positive safety culture within the all levels of the workforce because safety is not a one man game and it is a responsibility of every individual working in an organization so with this we can sum up that sms is a systematic approach to managing safety including the organizational structures accountabilities and procedures this is basically the definition of safety management system so with this we come to the end of the video on safety management system taking help of ikao nx19 that is safety management i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making it to visit our website aviationavi.com and do like share and subscribe because your support is our motivation do follow us on linkedin the link of which is given in the description this is anvesha pal signing off thank you